Hey, it's me, Ricky from Neon Block. Today we are going to take a look at the 1,500 Robux game, the 5 Robux, the 500 Robux game, and the two late submissions from our Neon Jam game competition. So what the two late submissions mean is they submit the game after the deadline is ended but they still get some prize because there is no third participant in our game jam so let's take a look at the first late submission game and we will take a look at the 1500 robux game at the end of the video so stay tuned so the first game we are going to introduce is the the cube return which is about the cube yeah because the theme is a cube flashback the theme is a cube the whole game you make should be around this main theme end of flashback because our game jam theme is a cube so actually this is a pretty creative game as in, in my opinion so yeah the theme the theme is matched there's a cube right here and everything seems good let's yeah, I can't move this cube somehow, but there's no arrows, so I can just push it, and uh, yeah, it will be bigger. I've seen this in the show, in the making video, the submission video, but uh, yeah, in the video it seems to can drag the cube, but in here I can't seems to move the cube any further. Let's take a look at the submission video anyway. I've kind of understand how the game works because he explained it in the video and the cube will grow after it gets feed but it get feed. You drag the main cube to other small cubes and it will the main cube will keep growing and growing until it's too big and it the main cube will said something like I will kill you or something like that and then we have to go to the shelter and uh, feed the uh, main cube black hole and then it will destroy the main cube I think it's the concept yeah it's creative not gonna lie but it's a late submission so I can't yeah it's unfortunate and the next game we are going to see we are going to take a look at is the infiltration which is another lead submission of the game of the game jam yeah the, the sword swing sound is kind of annoying um i've tried this game and been into the stage three and we are going to take a look at the rest i don't think the gun is perfectly functioning there is a water can there's a drawer too. About this submission, I think it's using some tutorials to finish up the game. So I don't think it's completely stripped by the creator, but it's a late submission, so I can't really say something about it. So so when I died, the flower is gone and I can't do anything. So I have to rejoin the game. The concept of this game is written down in the description. I think it's the game story is basically you sneak into this tower and kill all the guards and go to the, the top of the tower and then you get a cube. Oh, I beat the guard and I can't seem to pick them or interact with them. Oh, I can. Why, why Why? is the card died? Oh, it's a key card. Yeah, I have the key card, but I can't go through. Wait, I don't actually have to open the door. 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 Here we got some chemical stuff, like the blue S. And what's this? Green S. What they, what, what these things do? Blue S and green S. I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, I, I don't understand the, what the chemical things do. do. Do I just... Oh, I, I can just take all the chemical things and then go to another level. There's a key card right here, I see. And there we go. And uh, there's a big red button. I don't... Oh, it's a landmine. And we got a key card. Yeah, there's some art, which is pretty funny. I assume there must be something behind the paintings. Like, yeah, right here. 
got the key card. It's surprising what the door is not opening. But instead I can just go through go through it. Yeah, maybe you maybe don't know what I'm saying. What's this green screen right here? There do. It does nothing. And then there's a black must master? I assume he's good. he's I assume it's a monster or a master, I don't know. Do I have to kill the master? Yeah, I assume he, he wants to type monster, but uh, I don't know. I killed the monster, and uh, yeah, I saved the day, and that's the game. Extraordinary the idea is, but there's some confusion on this game. So anyway, let's move on to another game. Now it's time for the 500 Robux game, the game that will 500 Robux, which is Brock Course. I think it's some parkour game. It seems like it's a parkour game to slide. And yeah, I died. Yep. The bad thing in this game is if I died, I have to wait like over 100 seconds and then and then I and then I can respawn. The game jam theme is a cube and I don't know whether it's I, w I don't know whether the game suit the theme. I don't know what will we get after we successfully hit the goal and I will try I will try to try my best to do it. And yeah it's it's kinda hard to the movement is kinda confusing. Yeah, it swings me out it swings me to the bread part. Let's try it one more time and if we can't if I can't go through this, I will just move on to another game. I see the ever every participant boot. So the last game is called Cube Slide, which I tried. And it's some cubes will spawn randomly, which is the theme, the cube. And will crush you, so you have to go up there without dying and you win the game. So we just walk up there without dying. If we touch the cube, we will die there. So the main goal of this game is go up there. It seems pretty easy to do so. And there we go. It's, it's simple and clean. 